Hey, everyone. Hey, Steve. Hey there, Bessie. How's it going? Hello. Oh, I'm okay. Hello. Got my WikiTree shirt. Oh, awesome. I have my WikiTree sweatshirt. <laughs> nice, nice. Do cool things, get cool stuff. <laughs> exactly. Hello. Hello. I don't have much of a voice, so I'm going to just listen primarily. Okay, well, we hear you just fine. Okay. <coughs> where Where is everybody uh, coming, zooming in from? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I, Lone Oak, Arkansas. Great. Near Sacramento, what, uh, in, in California. Oh, okay. All right. Indiana. Indiana. Oh, my next door neighbor. I'm in Illinois. Being a lot of background, Bob, is that you? Uh... Uh, you can turn that off, please. Turn it off? Oh, the Okay, thanks. Do we, do we have anyone uh, from outside of the United States? I know yeah, there was someone from enough. Australia who wanted to come. Hi, I'm Deborah. I'm in Sydney, Australia. Oh, great. Okay, were you the one who you were asking about the time change? Or uh, the time zones? Not nope. me, I think. Okay. What time is it there tomorrow? Um, it's midday, so a very convenient time for me. Thank you for scheduling it so I could participate. Yes, yeah. It's usually these evening ones are, are pretty hospitable for Australia, not so much for Europe. So that's why we have the Sunday ones. I saw Hillary's post that it's one o'clock over there and yes, the yes. British Isles. Exactly. <laughs> so that's 1 a.m. So that would be quite dedicated to. Um, you know, Steve, since you're, um, yes. you're going to help me out a little bit, can I make you a co-host? Is that OK? Sure. No problem. There we go. All right. And if I need to go back to WikiTree, I can search back and forth as needed. Yes. Yeah. I have a, I have a bunch of pages ready to go. So. Mm -hmm. um, well, people are still coming in, so we'll just give it a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, really, um, you know, this 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 time is is for you all and your questions um i do have some things that we can talk about mainly um to um do more wiki tree in 23 in 2023 um looking for new ways to get involved or maybe you're you're a beginner and you don't know where to start so hopefully this will give you some places to check out on the way on on wiki tree I think I'm just about a new beginner. I've downloaded Jedcom and I've cleaned that up and I've started some profiles. Oh, good but for that's you. It. <laughs> hey, that, that's actually a very good pro amount of progress. Good for you. I see, um, is it looking over the... Mary, Mary Sleppy came in. Mary, I recognize your name from the live cast on Saturday morning. Yeah, well, hi, thank you. 
And and who are you besides WikiTree? I just joined. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your, your name says WikiTree. I know that's not your name. Yes, yes, my <laughs> yes, correct. My name is Betsy Co. Okay. and um, I've been um, very active on WikiTree since December of 20, <clears throat> 2020. Okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> sure, um, and this actually sort of ties into the whole idea of. of how to get more involved in, in different areas of, of Wikitree. My analogy was when I first came to Wikitree, I, I was um, intrigued because I was researching an ancestor and um, you know I Googled the person and a Wikitree link came up and I went to the profile and I noticed there was a, a research note um, that, that was intriguing to me and, and it made me curious about Wikitree. So I joined, but it, initially felt like I had wandered into a massive, massive castle. And I, for a long while, I was just sort of frozen in the entryway because I was afraid that if I went this way or that way, that I'd never find my way back. So I was sort of par paralyzed for a little bit. Um, and then gradually through getting connected and getting to know people, um, I, I got braver. I, I, got, I realized there, there's really... No, no getting irretrievably lost or, or you know, the things can be undone. And, um, and now I'm quite active. Um, it's, it's been a very fun journey. Um, Steve, do you want to, since you're, you're helping me out today, you want to tell your story a little bit too? Oh, yeah, I, I just uh, caught your conversation because I was actually looking for a link for someone in the chat. Uh, but I started in uh, mid 2020, uh, actually at the height of the pandemic. Uh, gave me something to do to pass the time. And my grandmother had shared a, a pedigree chart with me, you know, one of the updated ones. So that really got the ball rolling. And when I found the person who was uploading a lot of the information from that area, they turned out to be my 10th cousin in Germany. So instantaneously, I've connected with family uh, and we still work actively on the Germany project together. Great. Yeah. <laughs> um... So we're going to talk about projects. Um, that's a great question, Richard. Um, Richard's asking about, um, or who was it that asked about the, yeah, Richard as well, on um, the differences between wiki tree and other universal trees. Um, I, I think for me, I mean, of course, the, the family search is, um, is, is the big obvious one that comes to mind first. Um, and I use family search a lot to find sources. Um, but Wikitree hands down um, wins me over in terms of sourcing and, and the commitment to integrity and accuracy and collaboration. Um, I, had, I had been doing genealogy on Ancestry um, for about five years prior to coming to Wikitree um, and a, a little bit on family search, but um, there's nothing like Wikitree for the community and, and the um, research integrity. So. Uh, There's a couple of links in there. Th those are for our about Wikitree page. Um, you know, again, it talks about collaboration. Uh, our privacy levels are a big thing that a lot of other trees don't have. So to be able to identify a profile with a certain privacy and the other ones are still open, they can still attach to them is very important for a lot of people, I believe. Uh, so that's, I believe it's one of the selling points. Um, but the funny thing is there is nothing to sell because it's completely free. And that is the best reason to join Wikitree. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, now, Richard, when you say you're having difficulty with the messaging system, do you mean G2G? I'm not sure what I mean. <laughs> I just mean I get messages I sometimes that. and I'm not really sure how to respond. Okay, all right. Well, let, let me start screen sharing and, and that's a good good place to, to start. Um, hope I'm picking. I mean, it seems like it's not an email system, but it's somehow comments on profiles in all the cases and I, I don't get that. Okay, um, so can everybody see my screen? I'm on the wiki tree. Um, homepage. Yep. Yes. So if I go to, um, let's see, I'm just going to go to my, there are a couple of places you can get messages. For instance, here uh, we're on my, uh, my profile page. 
And at the bottom of that, um, you get mess. You can get messages here, um, and you would you would most likely also get an email alerting you that you have a message on your profile page. Um, and this is this the way that happens. Or if you wanted to send a message message to somebody else, um, that would be um, up here um, at the top, just above the bio. Um, send private message. Or no, wait a minute. That's to send a private message. And down here, I think you would just post a new comment. So that's one kind of messaging. Um, the other kind of messaging would be on G2G. Um, although those are those are more um, just announcements. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't go to you directly. I. Richard, am I getting at what you're asking? Is this looking familiar to what you're um, asking? Yes, this is this gets on to it, but I don't understand the difference between posting a private message versus a message on your profile. And uh, you know, I don't understand how they're handled, you know, uh, differently. But right, know. right. So posting something down here um, will make it so that I mean, everybody can see it. But everybody uh, will see it who looks at your profile. It's just exactly. a post on your profile. Exactly. So yes. it's not publicized anyway. It's just something, it's a comment on your profile. It's a comment on your profile and you would get an email notifying you, hey, there's a comment on your profile. Um, oh. But if it's, if it's, you should, I think. Well, um, someone else can put a comment on my profile, not just me. Yes, yes correct. Oh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you see like, for example. Yeah, down there, you can see example, Patty sent her a message. Right. Okay. Um, and there's also a place to post comments on free space pages, um, which we can talk a little bit about those. Um, so Patty actually, she commented a post, uh, commented both on my profile page and then on the 15 for 15 tracker um, free space page that I did. So I answered her on that page. Um, hmm. And then if it's something um something well if it's something a little more sensitive then you would send it as a private message and then in that case you just get, just, get an email just go straight to your email client in that case yeah oh that's just email mm -hmm. oh okay mm -hmm. well that's clear yeah because your profile is attached to your email um anyway so so it automatically would send those uh, messages to that email because it's attached to your account mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that helps a lot. May, Thank you. May I add a question is uh, on the topic of communications? Um, that is, unless this, if this portion is resolved for now, because there, sure. there are more yes. methods of communication that I'm confused about. Yeah, is and Angie, I time? see. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Okay. This time is for all of you. Um, so I want we want to answer your questions. Okay, so okay. there are two methods of communication specific to the use. You, um, U.S. Black, Black Heritage Pro, um, Project, USBH, that I'm confused about, and I'm I'm new to WikiTree, although I'm developing, I'm I have a guide, I'm on the path, I'm developing profiles, etc. Um, and they are the Google Group for USBH and Discord. Now I'm I've been advised and invited to get on Discord. I'm having a lot of trouble getting into it. I'm I'm not on it yet. What is the difference between communications on for USBH people, um, which I think is our group today, although I could be wrong about that. Um, what is the difference between the Google group and Discord? And do I need to add, do I need to kind of fight to add Discord to my communication methods? Can I answer this question? Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Okay, so I prefer Discord just because everything that I get connections for, all my different servers are all on the, the same program. Uh, so it, it doesn't even have to be WikiTree. You can get on other servers with Discord. Right. Uh, but for WikiTree, the good thing is, uh, as long as they know what your badges are, they'll assign the correct channels to you before you actually get into it. So I, I've had other servers where the, you know you had to do it by hand, and that was a little annoying. But at least if you're talking to someone who is on the, on the projects, you know, or someone on the WikiTree team, 
they can get all those different channels set up for you. So if you're looking for that particular channel, uh, I think that you said that the Black History one was the one you're referring to, USBH? Yes, yes. I, my work is mm -hmm. specific to USBH. Right. So you should have access to that particular channel on the Discord server for Wikitree. You know, so not everybody gets access to it. It just depends right. on like you know what they're doing. Well, I'm, uh, I'm having a problem with Discord, um, which is right. a separate issue, um, mm -hmm. setting up my account, and I want to okay. know if it's worth pushing them, given that I, I'm also on a USBH uh, mm -hmm. Google group, and I frankly I don't know the difference between the two. Okay, and specific the to USBH. Yeah, I mean, Google Groups is an alternative. So Germany Project also uses Google Groups, and they communicate that way through threads. But it's not great for mobile devices, as I discovered. Uh, I have to log well, into actually, my... Actually, Steve, I'm asking yeah. about content. You content. Know, it, it, are are mm -hmm. USBH members communicating both on Discord and right. Google Group? Or are there different communications going on oh, in both of those? Do I, I don't know. That's a question that? for uh, USBH. I mean, if they're posting the same thing in both places, go ahead and ask That's them that. That's my question. That's yeah. my question. I mean, I Discord know. would have things, people would bring up things at like midnight, be like, hey guys, I have a problem with this thing. Can you look into it? So Discord is more of an immediate thing where people can see things as they're being typed and respond to them quickly. Google Groups is more of a thread-based thing. So there, there might be okay, different types that. of responses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe I just need to uh, figure out how to get into Discord. It's terribly organized, at least at my end. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll have about to that. check uh, them out myself. Yeah, check with one of us afterwards and see. Maybe we can help you figure out the whole Discord thing because you know signing into the program itself may have to involve an extra person. So yeah, uh, certainly I reach out to one of us. Yeah. And, and just to clarify, is this meeting I today? about um because i got it through um coming to the table so these are people who are just curious about wiki, wiki tree in general here today mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just usbh is that right of course yes. okay thank you for that clarification yeah so many well, different well, flavors of interest yes in i understand thank you for that correction mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah we we sent out the announcement about uh, tonight's gathering to all the project leaders so you might have heard about it from a specific ah thank you thank you yeah yeah okay and, and just to, to add on to what steve said um discord um is has a lot of really lively can have a lot of lively in the moment um interaction okay um, so so i i like it um, it's really good for instant, uh, you know, sort of collaboration. Um, I there's someone a WikiTree team member who could um, I, I can connect you with her, and and I bet she could help you get set up. It's okay. I, I'll I'll stay at the end with the whole yeah that. yeah Thank absolutely you, Betsy. yes of course. Um, Betsy, someone I, had and I had a question. Was it I I had a question. Yes, is this I don't know what Discord is. Or what it's used for. Is there any way you could do maybe a um, YouTube program or something describing Discord and how to get on it and how to use it for WikiTree? Hmm. Beginning video. Um, does anything like that exist, Steve? I'm not sure. Uh, well, I'm going to try to exit out of um, your screen so I can get I'll to my screen. Chat. Let me see. There's a link. Now. Exit full screen. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to pull up mine. There should be a page on Discord within Wikitree to explain, you know, how our connection is with it. Uh, I mean, Discord.com. Yeah. So Discord is a program, a client uh, for communication. It can be downloaded on any computer or any mobile device. Uh, it's a live chat system, and Wikitree chooses to use it as our, you know, most efficient live chat system. Uh, I think it's more efficient to communicate through there than it is through GTG or other methods. Again, that's just my two cents. Um, there is help Discord. So I'm going to link that right here. Yes, There's Stephen, a... Stuart already did that. So it's already oh, in the chat. Oh, thank you, Stuart. Oh, I'm so slow. <laughs> it, okay, there we go. Busy, busy communicating. Some of us all at once are more visual and kind of need to see <laughs> what it's like so we know that hey, we're in the right spot. Um, I've never, well, I've I never heard of Discord until it was brought up on one of the Saturday WikiTree yeah, programs. Yeah. Um, I can try and do a, a screen share 
with my screen so you can mm -hmm. see what it looks like. Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay. All right. And then after as after we finish talking about this, Angie, I'm sorry, you had your hand up and I, your question is next. I didn't I wanted you to know we're not ignoring you. Um, so let's see if I can. Okay, Discord. Um, hang on a second. Let and I was going to say discord.com will get you the page in which you can download the browser or the client to your computer or device. Um, okay. As for Richard's question in the chat, how will data be preserved into the future? I think they have a lot of uh, backup servers, a lot of um, triple redundancy built into the system. Okay. All right. This is what Discord looks like. Can everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so um, over here, you can see that um, there's a bunch of icons. Um, the one at the top are direct, my, my conversations one-on-one -on -one with different individuals. Um, but the rest of them are um, group, large, large group chats. Like for instance, here is um, Wikitree Canada, um, Scotland, England. Um, you can see right now I'm on the page that's Wikitree sort of general, and there are all these um, these different committees or projects. Um, I'm doing the um, the current challenge um, for um, connecting seven by seven. So I, like Steve said, it it's automatic. I um, automatically was a part of um, became a part of this because I registered for the for the challenge. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a lot of um, productive as well as fun back and forth. Um, and because, because Wikitree is an international community, um, basically there's always somebody on Discord at all times. Um, and um, so it's it actually, to give a little background on Discord, it started as a platform for video gamers to communicate. And now it's it's spread way, way beyond that. Um, I teach high school. And so my students are always very amused if I'm screen sharing and they, they see a Discord notification come up and um, my, my coolness rating goes up. <laughs> and there you can see someone's typing actively. You can actually yeah. see if someone's <laughs> responding and who it is because we've assigned all of our um, IDs to our um, accounts here on Discord. So Urbach 13, March 9608, and you can go straight to their Wikitree page from there. Well, you can't click on them, but you can look them up that way. Yeah, yeah, you are. We do require everybody to use their, their profile ID as part of their name. And then, you know, you can do whatever you want for the first part. Okay, does that help? Go ahead uh, to the sidebar on the left. Go ahead and just scroll down and show them some of the other topics so they can get an idea of like all the things you're involved in. It's so, like Teams, for example. And um, so if, if it is um, bolded, uh, that means that there are some notifications that I haven't seen. Um, if, the, if it's sort of grayed out, then I'm caught up. Um, we, when we we do um, connectathon or sourceathon um, for the different teams, Discord is a is a really um, lively arena for communication. Um, but to go back to the question about which um, Sarah's question about which should she, should she go with Discord or the Google um, Google Groups, I think it really depends on that particular group of people. And how you know just how that little sub community works best, as well as your comfort level. Those are the two things. So, uh, you guys and, just have to try to try, try it. Yeah, yeah, try it. I mean, it's free, um, and if you don't yeah. like it, you can just take it off your phone or or your computer. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, Angie, what was your question? 
Um, so um, one was a comment and then one was a question. So okay. I thought that when you um, were showing like how you can post a comment on someone's profile, yes. um, it said something like you can move it to G to G. Mm -hmm. Does that mean then the whole message goes over to G2G and everybody can see it? Is that what that means? Yeah, let's let's look at that again. Um, let's see. Okay. So yes, I mean, but but if you post something on somebody's uh, wall here on their profile, uh -huh. everybody can see it anyway. Oh, they can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was. I just was because it said move to G2G. I was a little confused. I thought maybe only the profile manager saw it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I had another question. I feel like it's a dumb question. No, no. There are no dumb questions. Oh. <laughs> like, so I joined the notables, right? And um, I know that there are a lot of notables that maybe can be updated and everything, but let's say I wanted to add a brand new person. I didn't know like where to how to do it because I saw the one place they mm -hmm. kind of give you like a template or something right but I didn't know I don't know if I'm missing something like if I want to brand you know add a whole sure. brand so are you talking about adding somebody who's not connected like usually we add like oh so-and-so's father or so you know a relative but this is like a totally unconnected person yes like yeah. someone not related to me but maybe mm -hmm. famous like Right. Um, so I think the, should be recognized or something. That could be for anybody here. Um, yep. There's a friendly button. So add. add. So I, you know, just on. on I'm sorry. These menus are hugely. So you see, you've got these menus. Oh, okay. So go to add. Uh huh. Then you're going to be able to add a new person. Oh, okay. Okay. And then add add an unrelated person. Oh, okay. And and now, so you know, if it, if it's somebody famous, there's they might already. Did you check and see if they're on WikiTree already? Um, yes, I did. Okay, and they're not. They're not. But so I then, also noticed that I have to check multiple times in different ways because, um, for like, uh, there was another notable who I originally wanted to do, but has a page. Mm -hmm. but when I did the search, it says, I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background, she wants some attention. <laughs> um, yeah, so for example, I typed someone's last name and it came up that, you know, it doesn't exist. But then someone put a comment, let me know, oh, you're looking for this person. And they did have a page. It's just like, like I'm like a lot of the people that I do research on are from Puerto Rico. So they have two names and sometimes they have a Y in between and sometimes not. Yes. So that's when I started to realize, okay, maybe I have to do a better search multiple ways because I feel bad. I don't want to start a new page that's already been started. Well, so, yes. yeah, yeah. We, we want to avoid that, but it happens and there's a process if it does happen where you would merge the two profiles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll keep that in mind. Right. Um, okay. And then I know how to add a new notable, which I will double check to make sure. Right. Right. That it is complete. Okay. Yeah. Um, great for me. Do we have a uh, great. Okay. Do we have other questions or, um, we can talk through some of these menu buttons up here at the top are enormously helpful. We can talk through some of those, but I posted one in the, the chat. Sure. So I'm I'm relatively new. I first started in November and I had to take a couple of weeks off to let it digest. <laughs> but now that I'm back, it's making more sense. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have figured out how to add family search sources. Yes, uh, and I'm going through and adding as many as I can, um, and I'm I'm now figuring out how to write a bio and insert them uh, in line referencing sourcing. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but I have several things that are at Ancestry. I can't find them on Family Search. I've I've right. really looked. They're only at Ancestry, and I would see an example. I just uh, the YouTubes that I've seen and stuff say try to avoid ancestry, <laughs> try to go to family search, but sometimes they're just at ancestry 
or no. there have been things that documents that I have scanned personally and put it at Ancestry. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I was just trying to figure out, how, do you just actually have to type in each line one by one? Not this necessarily. Is, no. Okay, because I did try and copy and paste the whole citation and I had to spend about 10 minutes editing it to make yeah. it, yeah. So is that how it is? <laughs> I would like to see a real example of how it's done. Sure, yeah, um, I can I can show you an example. Um, there's now this is a little bit beyond beginning WikiTree, but there is a really wonderful app um, called Sorcerer. Um, Steve, do you want to maybe find the? I'm just going to link to apps in general. There's also an ancestry citation builder as well, so it's on this page. I did see the file extension. I was just learning file extension somewhere else, and I did see the Sorcerer file extension. I haven't tried it yet. Um, um, it's, it's I think I really saw a couple of different brands of that. Uh -huh. You want the one that uh, that um, Rob Pavey developed. And what you'll, okay, so I'm sharing my screen again. Um, the icon is just this little one here. Um, so let's see. I had used it. Here. Okay, so I had found a marriage record for this couple on Ancestry. Mm -hmm. um, when you're on the uh, the page in Ancestry, that um, not not the actual image of the document, but the the all the uh, the transcription uh, and document detail. That's yeah. when you just want to click that one. And it'll say, oh, would you would you like an inline citation? Would you like a, um, a just a citation to put it at the bottom? You click that and then it gets a you get a pop up that says it's now copied to your clipboard. And then you get something like this. Um, so the sorcerer formats it for you. Yes. Yes, the the worst inconvenience that I've found. I'm very happy with Sorcerer. Um, the worst inconvenience I've found with it, which is not bad, is that occasionally I have to. There's like a, a break, a little bit of co code for a break that I just have to delete, and just to make it um, look nice, you, you know, the way it lays out on the page. But okay. I'm willing to sacrifice that <laughs> for what it does. How, how do you get to Sorcerer, um, but, um, Betsy? Yeah, um, so what you would have to do is you would have to, let's see, find, is it under apps? Um, I don't think it was within help apps, actually. I looked for it. It's a browser extension, right? Yes. Yeah, it's actually a browser yeah. extension. So you have to go into your browser and find it extensions. And yes, that's the right one person in, in the chat uh, who just there. okay. That. So here is a Allison, page. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm going to drop this in the chat. Oh, there is already a link in the chat from Allison. So I, I think oh, we're is good. It, is it the same one? Is it the free space it's, page? Yeah, it's the free space page. Okay, mm -hmm. Great. Great. So um, I I I got it long enough ago that I don't remember exactly how I um, got it, but it says here that how to install, that you you have to, have to uh, go to the, um, the web that. store. It is a free app, mm -hmm. but you have to go from like add-ons and um, it gives, depending on what browser you're using. Yeah, sorry for the confusion earlier. So this is separate from a Wikitree app, which is an internal thing to Wikitree. This thing will actually overtake your internet browser. So it'll be able to do that depending on if you're on an Ancestry page or a Family Search page. It'll then see that you're on one of those pages and then it'll say, okay, I can go ahead and activate. Would you like me to create a you know, um, citation for this page? And then you go back to Wikitree and paste it in. So mm -hmm. that's how that would work. Let let me see if I, I I think it would be would it I think it would be helpful if I could actually like do an example. So, um, 
so I'm on this person's page and here's something that might, you might not know about this, this uh, research underneath uh, on the right hand side, if you do that. Oh, it's going to ask me to log in. Okay. Okay, and I want to do one ninety three point six. Okay, all right. Oh, Roy Simmons, no, that's the wrong person. One ninety three twenty six. See yes. There we go. Okay, so this will just auto auto populate this you know, all these fields with everything you already have on your WikiTree profile for the person. Then you can come down here, and I I often go to Family Search, but you can also go to Ancestry, and let's see what pops up. So. Um, trying to think fast about what we could add here. Uh, this is this is my this is my correct person. I know because I've been researching him for two this family for about two weeks now. So if we go here, okay. So this is what I was saying. You want to be on this detail page, not the image page, okay? And then if I go to, all I do now is I click that one and I'm gonna build an inline citation. It, it works super fast. Now I'm gonna go back to Levi, um, edit. I will clean this up later, but um, let me say. Um, Ooh, Secret Santa profile. 1870 census. Hey, precious. You've arrived. Uh, Have you arrived? Well, blurry your background. Okay. okay. Oh, wait. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, you're very muffled, Gloria. It's very staticky. Yeah, I'm on Zoom right now. Okay. But now I'm going to clean up these marvelous. little breaks. Yes. So now have a good time. We're doing fine here, okay? I love you. <laughs> All right. Oh, me too. Bye, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now if I preview it, there you can see. Oh, yeah. And I, you know, I didn't have, I mean, it's, it's, if you're a really serious genealogy, it's a good idea to be able to construct a site source citation, but it does slow things down and oh. um, it's a wonderful tool. May I ask a follow on detail for that? You, yes. um, you use the, C prompt that highlighted the insert your source here in line. Then did you did you uh, control V? I mean, was it you had yes. it on a yes? Okay, because yes. you already had it, it when you said create the citation. It put it on a clipboard. Right, right. And you just and needed to do control V to stick it in there. Exactly, and it's. Um, Sorcerer is, is, uh, is so smart that it actually, when I ask it for an inline citation, it already generates the little beginning ref and closing ref. Okay. So I didn't even need to do that. I, I forgot. <laughs> and so then I ended oh. up with double refs. So I, I backtracked oh. and fixed that. Okay. That's why there was extra one. So you, you only need to just go and Control C it yeah. control V it in there. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you exactly. so much. Yeah, yeah. And you'll also notice that it has done wiki formatting to it by adding uh, the extra little tick marks for italicizing and bolding. So it just makes it look nicer when, when you do it that way. 
Right, right, to have it pop up. Oh, boom, 1870 census, marriage, yeah. Is there a source, sense, citation, whatever, for those that are just images on either family search or ancestry? Well, so, to, so uh, comment. I'm working with two databases, one on family search, uh -huh. one on ancestry. Those are the only two databases for my part of place in Italy. Uh huh. Okay. But I yeah. have, I there's no indexes. I have to go through each image. Oh my goodness, Betty Lou, that's dedication. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and then I have to transcribe it and translate it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah. But that has to happen yeah. sometimes. I've gotten lost in it so many times because it actually, it takes my grandfather's family back four to five generations. Wow. And that includes siblings and cousins. And it's the only thing that's easy is one, the surnames are not that common in that area. Mm -hmm. And two, all the records have mother, father, child in it, and all women have their maiden names. <laughs> so that makes it easy, but it's just, I've had, I've had to come up with my own template. Sure. So do I put, do I put the um, web address to the image, even though well, you yeah, have to be so in or not? This, this actually, um, is, it's nice that, uh, that I have both an ancestry record here, and here's the census that I found on family search. Yeah. So I think the most, I think if I were you, I would come up with a template um, that where you can just um, insert the information. Um, you know, it's most important that you be able, the, I mean, the purpose of source citations is to allow other people to go and examine the document that you've looked at. Yeah, so, I've got the, um, yeah. the film number and the image number. And the entry yeah. number. So if you can provide a link like this so that, you know, somebody can go yeah. and, and just look at what you've looked so at. I sh so I should put in the actual web yes. address for that page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as far as someone helping me from Italy. No, Chris so Friolo is your man. <laughs> well, mine's so far north that the majority of the records are in French. Wow. Um, wow. There, there are, um, there's an Italy project. Are you involved with that? I am not. I haven't got involved because Osta's genealogy is different mm. than the rest of Italy. Mm. It's, it's like Alsace-Lorraine mm -hmm. between France and Germany. You could be a member of both Italy and France projects? You, I don't, you, I'm, I'm still so new that I'm still learning. And I'm trying to get everything well, up there. It's well, a very unique area that you're working in. Yeah, well, well, actually, it's not because at any one time, I think the most, the largest population in that area at any one time is not much bigger than 150,000. Well, that's okay because that would actually fall under to a one space, uh, sorry, a, a one place study. So yes. if you have an area that's very specific to your research, you could be like the expert on WikiTree for just that area. So if anybody else has ancestors there, they'll know who to go to. They'll be able to talk to you about it then. Okay, so I did do a <laughs> free page on OSTA with what I have. You could because, if it doesn't exist already, yeah. No, it doesn't. And nowhere does it say that the records are in French. Everywhere it says it's Italian. Right. There's only like two or three years of it being in Italian until you get to about 1910. Mm. It might so be helpful. So you've got over a hundred years where it's all in French. Yeah. Okay. So the, I mean, the, that's what I mean. There's it's quite a bit different than everywhere else. It's like the only thing I could think of it would be like Alsace Lorraine that goes back and forth. Right. <laughs> so it's a it's a different area. Yeah. If you put in Osta Valley for free pages, you all come up. Okay. I, I'm going to ask, um, 
Steve mentioned Chris Ferriello and also Greg Clark. Uh, both of them are involved in team in the um, Italy project. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask them about, you know, if there's anyone else in the project who works really far north in Italy. Or so, west in that case, northwest, like near Monaco. Uh, <laughs> no, it's you go up one road from Osta, you hit sweet Switzerland, you go up the other road, you hit France. Oh. And we're talking about maybe a hundred kilometers from Oster to either border. Like Luxembourg. Mm. A weird area. So I mean, mm. and I'd like to know how I can update their um information on those stuff because nobody's been working in there. Okay. I would create my own free space page and then eventually they can link to it. They can yeah, say, I, hey, there's this person working on it. Go ahead. I did do a free space page for OSTA. Yeah, you can start up a free space page. You just go up to the top, yeah. uh, add, and then a uh, new thing. And a new thing can be on anything, as long as it's appropriate. Yeah, that's what I did. Right, right. So. Free, free space pages are are great. They're very flexible. Um, they're the perfect sort of rest repository for information that's important but maybe doesn't quite fit in a person's bi biography um, but they are you know relevant um, you know people have used them for you know um, overall family um, yeah. information uh, one place studies family recipes um, <laughs> I'm learning that yeah yeah they're really great they're really great um, so Yes, Richard. Uh, free space pays. What is it? It's free as opposed to what? I mean, what are the co the categories? So free as in um, as in free. It can be whatever you want. No restrictions. I mean, is it as opposed to profiles? I mean, profiles the other category. Yes. So let me just go to my watch list for a second. Um, so my watch list. These, you know, these are all my my profiles that I've added. But then on this other tab, I can oh. look at free space profiles. Okay, now, profiles and free space. Yeah, I don't have a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, for instance, I did this one um, to recap uh, family okay. one of my lines. So, so, so you you mentioned the you know. Uh, these are different country specific projects, which I'm very interested in for Germany, but Germany is way too big. I, I'm look, interested in a 50 square mile area. Yeah. So I could make a free Whoa. space page for that Might area and, and then have people work on it with me or somehow, or? Sure, um, uh, Richard, are yeah. you already in the Germany project? Oh. Well, I was, but I did, it didn't seem to be relevant to me. I, I, I mean, I know all my relatives in Germany, you know, at least back to 1700. So I, yes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work on German stuff. I have free space pages to show you. Can I share my screen? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, well, I, it's more of the concept, you know? I mean, I'm trying, I, don't, I mean, I understand these projects. So each project is basically a free space page then. Is that right? Uh, yes and oh. no. Not every free space page is a project. Oh, it can be, yeah. Every project should be a free space page because that's the only other place to host them. Got it. Um, so let's, let's see what we got here. I have mine up now, and I'm on the WikiTree Sorcerer page at the moment, uh, but I'm going to go to my stuff. So I'm, I'm just the fastest way for me to go to something is just go to my profile. Yeah. Uh, it's taking a second. Okay. I have a lot of badges and things on here, but we're just going to go down to here as soon as it decides to load. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so I put all of my space pages mm -hmm. at the very front so people can see what I'm working on. So everybody can see this, right? Free space pages managers. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for example, uh, my space pages here, I have Sauk County, Wisconsin. Okay. I have the uh, village Abelman Rock Springs that's within that county. Okay. So, so the, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I see you have all these pages. Now, the thing is, once you have a page, do you link to profiles in that? Or do people put all their profiles in there so we can aggregate things? Okay. Or? Yeah, so, so let's look at Landkreis Jolson. So a Landkreis is basically a county in Germany. Right. Sure. And this is within Niedersach in one of the 16 states of Germany. Uh -huh. um, I'm just going to click on this because this is very well Perfect. developed compared okay. to that. <laughs> if you can see here, so we've identified what it's about. You know, Landkreis Jolson is the state. We're talking about all the villages and all the cities that are within that county. 
And then at the top, I've indicated who is involved in this project. So our friend Dieter, who does uh, political structure and history of Germany and a lot of translations. Uh, My cousin Oliver that I mentioned, he also helps me out with a lot of uh, identification of surnames and he has a lot of sources. Um, then we have our task that we wanted to work on. So we developed right. a category structure, history, identified notables, yeah. surnames, cemeteries, right? You see all so these goals. pictures. Yeah. yeah, you can see these photos on the side. This is sure. a photo right here that shows all the different municipalities. But uh, is there any know. software behind this? Is there any like logic and, and you know code or something that actually makes it do something? Or is it just in, uh, you know, like a web page? Well, this, this is based... I mean, this page is based off of the wiki tree, the, the media wiki that wiki tree uses. So, right. so they have a very specific code that they want their pages to look like. So this follows the format of those pages. This is why the images are on the right and then the text is on the left. Uh-huh. Um, as you go away, the, uh, you know, that area disappears, but the text remains. And you can see that I've developed a basic history of the area we're talking about. You know, as you go down, it gets you know, more recent. And then I got into a geographic history where we actually talk about like what things existed at what times, like locations. Uh Sure. So it it can get pretty complicated here, but we want people to understand like, you know, what's the general flow of like borders here, you know, whether it's the German Confederation or it's the state of, you know, lower Saxony, right? Does this this link to profiles though, that are people that are in those areas that are being researched? Right. Yeah. I mean, so all of these, for example, are categories for these locations. If I click on, uh, say, for example, okay, Robel, which is where my relatives are from, right? that is the category that has all of my ancestors and then some that uh-huh. lived in that village. So I now see. the connection can be made between the free space page and the actual people that resided in that area. We've just broken it down recently into its individual um, components. So Rebel is within, a, a, you know, so, kind of a sub county area. And then that sub county area is divided into another sub county area. So you so put you hashtags on the on the profile somehow, and then this does a search for all those uh, people. Uh, and then so so you them, simply or? add the count, you know, put the category on the profile. Oh, so category. for example, okay. if it was going to be within this one, it would be, yeah. Category, colon, Bad Bevinson, Niedersachen, and then you close it with double brackets. The double brackets allows the category to be made, and that attaches this profile to this category, you know, and again, they're all nested. So the farther you get away, the more areas you're looking at. So now this is one, I'm not even getting to German here, but it will say it's a uh, subcategory of that land Christ that we talked about, Yilson. So Yulsen now just has these places within it, and there's the space page that I was just on. It's right there as it's also linked to this category. And then anybody else that is not established, like we don't know where they actually lived in that category, we just put them on this basic parent category until we get more information. So. Uh, hopefully that answers a couple of questions for you. Yes. yes. Can we just? I just want to um, back me back off of two things that Steve sure. said. Um, I want to just go over in case people don't know how you do hyperlink to a profile. Like sometimes when I'm doing a biography of somebody, um, uh, I want to want to say um, Joe Smith was married to Mary Brown. And I want to link to Mary Brown's profile. Um, mm-hmm. So um, okay. can I? Um, I was going to just uh, go into one of my ancestors sure. really quick. Okay. So, so you've so seen this guy that. before. <laughs> you've, you've seen him before, Betsy. Uh, this is my second great grandfather, Heinrich. Uh, I also have an extension that tells me that you know it's at the very top here. So my screen's going to look a little bit different from yours. Uh, but if I go into edit, I can see all the things that are in the text and at the very beginning are all the categories. So we, we like to put the categories above the biography because that nests them formats them correctly. They're just in the right spot. Uh, But you can see the double brackets that start off and then you put in category colon. You don't even need a space here. I know it displays differently on the actual categories, but it's not required. Uh, And then just whatever the name of that is. And if you're uncertain about what category it might be you need to go to, you can just simply hit this button up here, categorize, 
and you can have automatic options. So say I thought maybe he wasn't actually in Ravel, maybe he actually was in Bob Bevinson. So I'm going to put that one in. And if I type in a couple letters, it automatically drops that down and I can select it. And then it puts it at the very top. I click away and so I wanted to save it, it would be in there. But I know more specific information than that, so I'm just not going to include that category. Uh, same situation for any kind of links to other profiles. You'll see like down here, I linked to the space page. So I did the double brackets. I put in the word space. Uh, my uh, Grammarly space. wants to correct me on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I just typed in you know, the name of the page. You have to make sure you get the state in there. I did a piped link. So this is a pipe that separates mm -hmm. this from this part. And then I just put in text. So then it said Lang Christ Jolson, close it with the double brackets, put a period at the end for nice uh, pronunciation, or not pronunciation, punctuation is the word. Um, you know, and, and there you go. There's there's a basic link for that. And then the rest of these are more complicated, advanced, uh, maybe not so advanced, depending who you are, but you know, references. So ref name, whatever the name of that reference is, and then the actual citation itself. Close so, so you can see in the, the one sentence, Fred married his second wife. Whoops, go back. Oh, you want me to go back? Okay. Yeah, Fred Fred married his second wife. Um, so the, that, that will that, uh, the double oh, bracket. Down there, the, here it is. Sorry. Profile, Sorry, I wasn't around too fast. <laughs> yeah, with the profile name, the, the, the vertical line, mm. and then that will create a hyperlink that will just say Anna Gauss. And if you click on it, it will go mm -hmm. to the profile. Right. And the same thing for anybody in here. I've done the same thing for the children list. So the only thing that will display is the information on the right. The information on the left will go to their profile. So you don't have to see Ripkey 7, for example, as the hyperlink. It'll display just their name. And, uh, and so, yeah, If go you ahead. forget that, um, look on the right. Oh, to go back, go back. Oh, oh, you still want me to stay in a space? Yeah, but, <laughs> so, so see, it says how to add links. And so, oh, yeah, you know, over here, you know, it just, if you forget that, and, and I know there was a period of time where I was like, does the name go first and then the wiki tree ID or, or the back? And so, yeah. so it's, it's right there for you. There's a little bit of cheating over here on the, on the right to help you with basic sources, inline references, categories again. So, yeah, I mean, we try to provide as much information as possible, uh, anywhere really, um, but yeah, I was going to jump to the bottom because now you can see like this is just a preview of that profile. But anything that has wiki markup, you know, I have this in bold. Uh, these inline citations here are within the text. So they all go to the bottom of the page if you click on them. So that'll automatically pop up to this naturalization record, you know, and then you can actually click on the link to family search, for example. Uh, I like mine to look a little nice. These are not created by the sourcer, by the way. I just bolded them myself because I just like it to look nice. Um, but mm -hmm. you know, your mileage might vary, uh, and everybody's ticket page is going to look different. So there's no one format for it. Uh, you just don't have to feel like you're, you're not catching up to other people's standards just because, you know, they might do things their own way. I'm just very particular. We, <laughs> so. we, we all have our early wiki tree profiles that you go back, you stumble across them and, and think, oh, I got to go and clean this up because <laughs> you've gained a lot of knowledge. Um, about how to make profiles look pretty um, since your first yeah. feature. So yeah, th that's a good example. Go ahead if anybody has questions. Yeah, um, actually Betty Lou had asked how to create a, a category and I oh. have not done that. Have you done that? Uh, I, I do it all the time. Uh, if you really, really need to, I know it's not within project person or thing, you usually have to create it directly off of the profile that you're making and and categorization project wants people to make sure there's at least one profile in any category that exists because if there's a category sitting out there with nobody in it they're not happy <laughs> they want to make sure that there's at least one person attached to it and then that category has a parent category attached to it so that people can find it without having to go on the profile it's very important that we do with that um I mean, uh, I don't know how to make a fake prof, uh, make a fake category. <laughs> I could try. I could probably just make up something like Germany beekeepers. I don't know. There were a lot of those people out there. <laughs> you never know. The, the number of categories is astounding. They might already exist. 
Yeah. Is well, there any place to see them? I mean, yeah. I'm going to do something funny. I'm going to revert myself later, uh, but this is just a test. So we're going to submit. Uh, and then it's going to tell me at the bottom here oh, look, this category doesn't exist. Save anyway. So I'm going to create this category. Uh. And then it saves. Uh, I'm going to go to the very bottom where the categories are actually clustered, and you'll see that this one is standing out in red. The rest of them should all be in you know green or uh, mm -hmm. light black. Uh, so I wanted to create this category. And I go here, and it says, you followed a link to a page that doesn't exist yet. Why don't you add something? Uh, it'll note that there is a profile in it because I just added it to this page. Oops, I did not want to do that. Uh, so I'll just say, for example, you know, this is a stop. <laughs> this is a category for beekeepers in, I cannot type today, sorry, in Germany, right? And then it's also important that other people get to see it. So we'll go back to category and we'll put in beekeepers. And look, there's already a category for beekeepers, but there's not one generalized to a country yet. So I'm just going to do that. And then... I just like putting in, you know, some summary saying new category, and then yeah. you would hit the save page button, and then it would save. Uh, but I don't want to do this right now. Right. So uh, everything up to save page, that would be the flow. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm simply just going to remove this category from my ancestor because I know for a fact that he was not a beekeeper, oh, and I'm terrified of those anyway. Is there a way to show the ca existing categories unless, except by, you know, trying to edit your profile? Uh, well, if you go to find, you should be able to drop down and categories should be right there. Yep. Yeah. I yeah, can't see my screen because I have some people in the way. <laughs> my my face is in the way here. No, that you're, you're good. Where's the rest of my screen? Oh. <laughs> I can't even see my stuff at the top unless I... Okay, I'm going to do this real quick. One moment. That is Steam. Get out of here. Where did my... <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right, there it is. I can finally see them now. Um, <coughs> category categories is your master category. All categories come from category categories. You can't go any farther down from this. Um, if you click in categories, it'll just link back in on itself. But from here, you can go to any category that's already in the system. So say you want to go to regions, say you want to go to Europe, you'll click on Europe and all 76 countries pop up for that. Uh, you go to, you know, Germany, say, for example, and you'll see there's things nested within that. Um, and then it just continues, you know, you get a little bit of information on the Germany page because they'll be like, hey, would you like to know about states or nobility? Um, let's location. And then you can see all the stuff that's connected to Germany. Everything from war brides to uh, featured connections, political history, uh, place studies are in here. How did you get in here? It, I don't think that's supposed to be there. That and, should be and by, by the way, um, on yeah. the left, there was a Germany maintenance categories. And right. that would be things like um, if, uh, if there's a German profile that doesn't have any sources, um, there's a category for that. Or if it doesn't have mm -hmm. a biography, there's a category, you know, things like that, where mm -hmm. people on the Germany project who want to just help the overall <clears throat> health of German profiles can then go in and see, aha, you know, I could give this profile a little, a little love. Yeah, like this person needs a little bit of love. They have a very basic profile here. Oh, actually, they have a really good biography. So that they would just, be an easy one. To they just know. don't have any okay. citations in this first part. That maybe include the 1855 newsletter here. Uh, their research notes are, are developed, uh, but they're still looking for additional things like their birth records and their marriage records. Uh, they, they have their death record, apparently, um, but they're still looking for additional records. So that's where that went into that category. And this is actually somebody that went to Australia. This is a German who emigrated to uh, Down Under. So it must be uh, one of those sub projects. Yeah, it's part of uh, yeah migrants from Württemberg to Victoria. So you can click on that category, and then you can see all the people. Well, not too many, but uh, there's some Germans that did go to Victoria. 
cat categories are a terrific way to focus in. Oh. On yeah. And then my favorite part is my connections. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little green button at the upper right hand corner of every category. And you can see if you're related to those people. Yeah. Yeah. You can click on them and I am not related to them, but a lot of them are about 27 to 30 degrees away from me. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole other thing to talk about. That's yeah. um, the so connection when, finder. I was looking at categories and the, the area I'm interested in, in creating a category for already exists. So the category is there. So I would Good. go into all the profiles that are relevant and put that category in them, I guess. Yeah, basically you just populate that category. I see. Doing the method that I, I showed earlier, which is yeah. by putting in the yeah. text. I never knew uh, that. Yeah, I mean, these are really powerful. I think categories are one of the best features WikiTree has to offer because you can cross reference them so many different ways as long as they're grouped. Uh, but there's so many profiles out there that don't have any categorization. And I would always recommend people categorize whenever possible. Yeah. And in going back to the question at the beginning of the hour about what makes WikiTree different mm -hmm. from other universal family trees, I mean, cat, cat, they don't have categories at families. Right. Right. that I'm aware of. So very powerful tool. Yeah, so, and other um, little tabs. Uh, I, had, I had posed a, a question in the conversation and I'm in chat and I'm kind of running short on time. Sure. So I wonder if I can pose that question now. It's a different topic. Is that okay? Yeah, of course, Sarah. You want to take over, Betsy? At the end of the categories, category conversation, <laughs> um, which I know can is complicated. Um, so again, I'm on a specific project, but um, I am focusing specifically, as I'm hearing some people on this um, on this call are, on my own ancestry, and there's a lot of work to do there. My the USBH project is is all about finding enslaved uh, ancestors, um, and my answers and my ancestors were white uh, enslavers. Um, what I notice in the Google group chat and in the G2G chats that are specific to my program, um, it appears that there is no one that I've noticed who is focusing just on their own ancestry. Um, it appears that people are plugged into all of these competitions that go on at WikiTree, the 15 for 15, you know, what can we do to build the notables projects and all of that. So I'm feeling a little strange, um, like not fitting in with what other people are doing. Tell me, tell me what goes on generally sure. in yeah. WikiTree in terms of people's motivations and focus. I think it's highly individual, Sarah, and and I'm, I'm in a in a phrase I would say you do you, um, and and so I myself I've um you know I started out focusing on my own family, um, but I've gotten drawn into to doing um, some of the um, like the England projects orphan right. trail where you work on uh, you know uh, right. profiles of people unrelated, a secret Santa uh, challenge. Right. Um, and it's sort of fun. You you just learn a lot that way. Um, and I know that um, it's helping the overall health. Well, sure, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So, but but I will confess, like I I use the thons, the connectathon, and the source thons to really go nuts with my own family. Um, you know, I, I just work on, you know, oh, you know, I need to add all these siblings to this great aunt and, you know, I, I, do, I do that. Yeah, it's, it's a balancing act because um, we have- I mean, uh, I'd love to be of service, yeah. but I have many, many, many enslaved people yeah. to profile. Yeah. Uh, and that's the focus of this whole project. So I think uh, that's great. No, okay. there's, there's no right way to- okay. uh, you have to do what what calls you. It's just that there's not a, a lot of there's not a lot of conversation about it, and it it makes me wonder. Um, that's all yeah. um, about people's discoveries and work on their own ancestry. At least in my program. Mm -hmm. And you're you're in the um... U.S. Black. It's called the U.S. Black Heritage Project. Okay. And it's it's new, you know, yeah. relative to the history of WikiTree, maybe a couple years old. Um, mm -hmm. So growing and learning and all of that. So. Right, that's Emma McBeath's project. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Sarah, are you are you on Facebook at all? Um, very. I'm, I'm on it as little as I can be. <laughs> there, there's a lot of um, enslaver enslaved groups there. Um, I'm oh, in two of them. Is, this is my enslaver enslaved group um here okay, okay. Um, yes but but if i'm looking for support i can certainly check check that out and i'm in a non research group that's all about this work and so that's very supportive i'm just wondering about the role of wiki tree in in all yeah. of this i'll talk to emma about it as well it's Thank probably you just it's probably just getting getting started up and and it's such an uncomfortable subject that a lot of people don't know how to talk about it and that's why I like following those um, Facebook groups because it's giving me the um, language and the opportunities yeah, and, and I'm in another group that does the same thing so right um, yes just a question yeah. of the the wiki tree piece of it all. yeah I right. love wiki tree it is right. absolutely amazing um absolutely amazing even though I have little experience with it so thank you Oh, well, we're, we're glad to have you. Um, we probably should wrap things up, um, but I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Uh, I'm going to save the chat and make sure that we the chat was going by so fast that I, I know I didn't see everything. So if I can follow up with people afterwards, I, I will um, to make sure everybody's questions are answered. Um, Two, two thoughts that I'd leave you with in terms of if you're if you're looking to connect with more wiki treers, um, I, I put in a plug for the Saturday morning uh, live cast, which happens um, Eastern Standard Time, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, I'm one of the hosts along with Max Golden and Sarah Callis and uh, Greg Clark. Um, and it's it's just a really great overview of what's going on on Wiki Tree um, every week, um, and it was it was the little sub community that helped me feel at home, um, and I I learned a lot by by the profiles that were shown, and I, that's how I I was like oh so that's how you do that or oh look you can do this, um, and then the other the other thing I'd recommend are the weekend chats. Um, so if you just put in a, as a tag that you want to follow, um, and chat, just follow that uh, in your tags on your profile. Uh, that's run by Pip Shepherd, and it's it's just a really friendly um, written community where people post about what they're researching, little you know what they're what's going on in their lives, and and. Um, you know, genealogy questions. So those are both good places to find a little, little hangout on Wiki Tree. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. And is there a place they can find us after the uh, this is over in case they need to? Oh, yes. Ask us any additional yeah. questions? Um, so I please feel free to send me a message, post a comment or send me a private message on my profile. I'm at co 31. I'll do the same. Steve, yep. And there is mine. Yep. Hmm. We're definitely willing to help. No bad questions at all. Uh, we're, we're all here to be a community for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. I will put in a plug for one more thing, which is WikiTree Academy. Mm -hmm. um, if you're new and you're looking for some guidance, um, this is something, if you if you go into the G2G and just search, um, Steve Harris, who's a WikiTree team member, um, he he uh, put a post up about that. Um, and it's a, you know, sort of sequential set of modules mm. on um, how to use WikiTree. Okay. Will the presentation Sunday be the same as this one? Because I got in late. Oh, um, yes and no. I mean, <laughs> the, each presentation sort of depends on who's there mm. and, and the questions <laughs> that they ask. So it will be identical. Um, please come back Sunday <laughs> if, you, if you want to. Um, we'd love to have you. And um, but but it's a it'll be along the same lines of you know, more wiki tree in 23. Okay. And, and we just had a new person join. We'll have to tell her that we're ending already, unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, Lynn. Uh, 
we just we're closing up shop now. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact any of them. They're gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, they left. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for coming thank by. Thank you. Ours.